So these lilies here that we got donated from a friend who's moving off of his property um, and just pretty much pulled them out of the ground. Is, he gave us a couple, which I'll show you here in a second, that I've already planted and they do really well under the flood irrigation and they get really tall. Um, here's Jack checking them out, making sure it's okay to plant. Um, but I've got them all the way down the property where there's a post, there's gonna be these canna lilies or canna, canna, uh, canna lilies um, that my wife likes. And I've seen these things get like eight to 10 feet tall out here. So they clump and they're bulb, which is funny because uh, this morning I was putting them out here and uh, not paying attention to what the bulbs look like. And I was walking back where I'd carried some and I thought I saw ginger on the ground and I was thinking, where did that ginger come from? But the bulbs on these look like ginger, weird. Um, and they'll clump and spread out and we'll have this nice you know, hedgerow of flowering plants along the uh, front part of the property or the east facing side of the property. So that should be really cool. What do you think, Jack? We good to go? Yeah, okay. Now I'll go show you where I've already planted the other two and what I did. Okay, so this is the south side of the property. And over here are the two I planted the other day. Now, you can tell there's some mulch around them. Um, one there, one there, and these will spread out. And this is a short section of the uh, south part of the yard facing the street. So I only needed two. These guys will spread out pretty good and they're already looking nice and perky. But uh, yeah, dug a hole um, with a shovel, which I'm not gonna do today because that was not as fun as or easy as I thought it was gonna be because I figured as wet as the dirt was, um, it'd be easy to dig in, but no, it was not only wet, it was hard ground, which is fun. Um, clay and caliche and all that wonderful stuff we have here in Arizona. So these guys probably wouldn't grow too well in just our straight dirt. So potted in with them or planted in with them was uh, the potting soil that we had put them in to grow them, uh, to get them big enough to where I felt good about putting them in the ground. And it's a mix of some manure that we got at a local shop, um, planting soil, um, and uh, some mulch, and then a mix in of native soil, which makes it nice and loose and it drains a little better. Because um, our clay ground here does not drain so well, and uh, you know people complain about, oh, can't get my plants enough water, but here they can get too much water and flood out and die. So today, I'm going to cheat, it's not very green, or sustainable but a friend of mine has an auger here on the property so I'm going to use an auger to dig the holes down the other section of fence fun fun and then we'll take a video of what it looks like yay okay I cursed myself I probably should have knocked on wood or something after I talked about the auger so uh, <laughs> as you can tell I'm a little hot and sweaty uh, the auger did not start <laughs> Of course it didn't, right? Couldn't get it start, tried for about a half an hour. Couldn't get it, so ended up digging all the holes by hand, which they're not big holes, but there was probably 12 plus holes that I had to dig. So it's planting time now. Ah, okay, so that was fun. So drinking water, of course, you're in the Arizona heat at the moment. Uh, and I, May have lied to you. It says it's in the 80s right now, almost 90, which is great for here, but it's 57% uh, humidity and the dew point is at 70 degrees apparently. <laughs> so it is hot and steamy out here. Yeah, very hot and steamy, but we're expecting a, a good chance of rain overnight. So getting these plants in the ground will be awesome, even though the ground is very wet already. We use all the rain we can get in Arizona. Okay, so I got my soil mix done, and I kind of want to show you what I start with versus what I end up with. So for those of you not in Arizona, you get a good idea of why we have to mix our soil here. Now, keep in mind, I'm still learning. So for those of you that are pros at the planting or farmers or what have you, which I have a few friends on Facebook that are farmers. I'm a chef, so I visit those guys and... Don't chew me out too bad. I'm still learning, um, but I've had a lot of successes on the property and not a lot of failures. 
but still learning soil mix and what I'm doing. But here, let me show you what I start with versus what I end up with. So right here is what I took out of the ground. And as you can see, it's pretty much just clay. I mean, brown clay. Then over here is a mix with lots of mulch, separates quite a bit better, uh, mixed in with some topsoil, all that good stuff. So this, I mean, when this dries, this is just a piece of concrete is what it is. And uh, that is no good for those plants. So, yay. Okay, they're all in the ground. So you can see, I was off on my count a little bit. I didn't have 12, I had 11. So, all on the ground with nice black dirt. Right? We're so jealous of the Midwest on this one. We get nice weather nine months out of the year and no snow, but we definitely don't have the good dirt. So, yes. And down over there you can see the auger that hates me. That didn't want to start. Boo, Mr. Auger. All right. So, start of hedgerow, and uh, we'll see how it does in a few months. And then uh, we should have plenty of these guys sprouting up up front and looking beautiful.